Hello, and welcome to Curriculum Night. Um, not the normal Curriculum Night. And, and you can see in my background, I am a fan of Batman. Um, have been my whole life, and so I've kind of made my basement into my own little bat cave, which is whatever you think of that. Anyway, um, the kids seem to get a kick out of it. Uh, my name is Mr. Lampkin, and um, I have been teaching at Adams for, this is my 33rd year. Uh, I have taught just about every single class we've offered here in the math department. Um, but I've settled in on geometry and honors pre-calc, two of my loves, and I'm lucky enough to get to do those the past few years. I, I love teaching geometry. I, I, um, I do. I think it's different. It's, um, it has a whole language of, you know, to itself. The kids have to think differently, um, which, which I, I like. I like to see that. I like to see some kids, you know, that maybe struggled with algebra concepts come into geometry and have success. Um, and that's, that's my whole goal. Um, I will tell you that over the years of teaching, I have shifted my own mindset from what I would say, you know, delivering information to trying to get the kids to understand a big picture, make connections. I do this through uh, building relationships with the kids. Um, you know, I really get, try to get to know them, how they think, how they operate, try to break down their, their you know, insecurity barriers towards mathematics because they have them. Um, so, you know, some kids have success all the time. It's no big deal. And they're good at math, and so they don't have an issue with it. But I know that there are those that, that have struggled. And so, you know, that's my goal. It's always been my goal. And, and I do that through, you know, first gaining their trust, letting them know that it's okay to not understand something. It's okay to have to try harder than other people because that's just the way life is. Um, so that's my approach now and it's been very successful and I know and I have learned that you know success breeds success so when the kids start to have some success in what they're doing I find they work harder um, they want they want to be successful and they know they can and so that's important to me um, and so that's a little bit about how I approach things you know I'm I'm very good with the content. I can explain the material extremely well. So that's, you know, that just comes from experience and having done it for a long time. Um, I will say that, you know, geometry is one of those topics that a lot of you might say, well, I, I hated it because of the proofs, right? You know, I didn't like geometry at the time Be because there's a lot of spatial, you know, relationships that go on. It's uh, some kids, you know, mentally when they take it are too young. I mean, their brain's not fully developed yet to understand how things and see the, you know, the three dimensional space that we live in and what's going on. So that takes some time. Um, and you also have to be very disciplined in geometry because the, you know, it has a language all to itself, like I said earlier. Um, so we're right now we're in the middle of learning all the vocab, learning the terminology, learning, learning the symbolism that's involved. So, you know, when we start talking geometry, the kids know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's an issue early on, but we, you know, we take care of that. Um, as far as how things go remotely, uh, building relationships is difficult in this setting. Um, but as the kids found out, as, as I started to engage a little more and teach a little bit more, um, when they're on screen and I, I'm gonna ask them questions and we do our notes together and we have guided notes and we'll do them together, full class, and I will ask them questions and, and, you know, they don't always respond, but I'll just call on them and I'll keep doing that. And I try to spread it out to get them comfortable talking. Um, and then we'll go to our breakout rooms, which are small group sessions that they randomly get put in. I try to keep it to five kids per breakout room. And what's nice is that I can go in and out, excuse me, I can go in and out of the breakout rooms anytime I want. So they're there, they're working, they feel, <clears throat> excuse me, more comfortable working in their breakout rooms and working with the kids that are there because it's a smaller number. So um, really beneficial there. And I, when I come in, I'm looking at five faces. I get to know them a little bit. I talk to them a little bit. Uh, they get to know me a little bit and know that, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty relaxed, easygoing kind of guy. My whole goal for them is to learn. Um, but that responsibility is not on me. It's on them. I'm going to provide the content. I'm going to provide the explanations. I'm going to provide everything they need. 
to be successful, but they need to actually do the work, put the work in and ask the questions and so forth. So, um, and in this remote setting, I told them there will be no tests. There will be quizzes though, that they are responsible for. They get points for all the work they do. Um, but there will be what I call many quizzes that might be on one section of material, might be on two sections of material. And we're gonna do one each session we meet because we only meet twice a week right now for an hour and a half. So they will come in, uh, we'll take any questions they have, and then I'll put them on the clock. I'll give them their, I'll post their quiz. They'll have 10 minutes to do it or five minutes or whatever they need, whatever I feel they need. And if they know what they're doing, they'll get it done in plenty of time. If they're starting to search through their notes, through Google, through whatever, um, they won't finish. And that's the whole idea. So as I told them, I'm gonna keep the numbers small as far as problems are concerned, should have enough time to finish what they need to do if they are ready to go. And basically the, the quizzes are gonna be on their homework, right? And what they've been doing. So it's, um, there'll be questions from their notes that we've done together. So they just need to be prepared coming into class and if they still are struggling with something, you know, we're going to ask questions first um, and then roll in the new content, get into our breakout rooms. And then when we're done, we're done. When I feel like the day is over, if we're not at an hour and a half, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to keep them on screen. So I, I, I want them to be working, asking questions as much as they can. So that's, that's the procedure for now. Obviously, when, when we get back to in person, which I'm hoping we do at some point, um, things will be different and we'll have to kind of shift gears at that point. But uh, for now, that's what we're gonna do. We're focusing on the learning. They're getting grades for everything they do. And everything that we do in class is always posted on the Google Classroom. That's the platform we're all using. Um, if you haven't been there, ask the kids to show you. Of course, syllabus is there, my contact information. Like I said, if you need to get a hold of me ever, um, email me and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, that information is also there. I've got my first semester schedule, my second semester schedule right now. Uh, first hour is my conference hour. Um, so that's Mondays and Thursdays, uh, 8.30 to 10. You see, I'm still trying to get used to these time slots myself. So, um, but we have, you know, we have all day Wednesday, we can communicate and as those are, you know, the amount of emailing and the amount of correspondence that's taking place right now is unbelievable. You know, all the, all the answers to all the questions that kids have or parents have, you know, we're able to do in person, we can do on the spot and we're done with. Um, having to read the emails and respond to the emails and get back with the correspondence, it's, it's a lot. Um, so it takes a lot of time and um, I don't mind it. I know everybody has questions and we're all concerned about, you know, are my kids learning and, and uh, I get that. So feel free, email me as much as you feel like you need to. If you've got questions, if you've got kids that are going to miss for whatever reason, everything's there on the Google Classroom. Like when we go through the notes together, the kids will be able to have, you know, live guided practice. And, you know, after class, I'm going to post the filled in notes for them. So they, if they want to refer to them, they're always going to be there. So everything we do is there, I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. Um, and we just have to kind of fix things as they go if they're not working and it's new for everybody. So again, we're all working hard. Um, if you have any questions, feel free. Uh, we're going to roll through five chapters, hopefully before Christmas. That's our goal. So the first five chapters in our textbook um, before Christmas, which is the end of first semester, that is the goal. And we're going to try to stick to that. Um, so if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me. Thank you for watching this uh, goofy video from the Bat Cave. Uh, have, I just hope we have a great year. I'm gonna try really, really hard to help your kids and to be successful. So take care and thanks for watching.